Good evening, and welcome to the New England School of Communication Senior Recognition Ceremony. This is an unprecedented way to bring you this event. We wish you were here with us, but we are very happy to celebrate your accomplishments with you and your family. We hope that you are staying safe and well. Please enjoy the celebration. NESCOM offers three different majors, communication technology, entertainment production, and mass communications, which contains several concentration and certificate choices, including audio engineering, journalism, graphic design, live sound technology, marketing communications, radio broadcasting, sports journalism, and video and film production, all of which have students being honored here tonight. This is a special time for celebration in which we acknowledge the significant accomplishments of our students, feel their parents' and loved ones' pride, and appreciate the teaching and mentoring of our faculty. I would first like to take this opportunity to thank all of the talented faculty and staff of NESCOM. Without them, your education would not be possible. I'm impressed daily with the creativity and innovation they bring to ensure our students are work ready upon graduation. We would like to recognize the vast number of opportunities our students have benefited from during their time at NESCOM. These opportunities include internships and employment with organizations such as American Red Cross, Bangor Symphony Orchestra, Baxter Brewing Company, the Collins Center, Cross Insurance Center, DD and Company Marketing, EVS, Glacial Multimedia, Husson Marketing Department, Hope Summer Repertory Theater, Maine Dairy Council, Maine Public, the NCAA Final Four, Osborne Media, Pulse Marketing, Robinson Ballet, Sutherland Weston Marketing Communications, Thomas School of Dance, Town Square Media, TV Azteca, UMaine Athletics, UMaine Museum of Art, Walt Disney World, Waterfront Concerts, and Wimbledon Championships. Further, our graduating students have expanded their resumes by participating in a host of experiential learning opportunities, such as sports information reporting here at Husson, Husson Lacrosse Game Broadcasts, Fusions, Nescom Productions, at WHSN FM Professional Connections with Maine Association of Broadcasters, Broadcast Education Association, College Broadcasters Incorporated, the 10th annual live radio show, Tales of Mystery and Imagination by Edgar Allan Poe. Past entertainment production, musical productions of You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, Little Women, I Love You, You're Perfect, Now Change, and over 100 live performance events in the Gracie Theater over the past four years, ranging from Manhattan Transfer to Ed Asner to The Hitmen. Four seasons of The Night Show with Danny Cashman, which includes 26 episodes every year. And Hassan University Theater Productions of Almost Maine, Stop Kiss, Doubt, The Little Prince, and The Guys. Great job by all students involved in these many experiences. We are proud of you. At this point, I would like to turn over the podium and continue this celebration of our graduating seniors to NESCOM's academic director, Edward Gogan. Thank you, Dean Hansen. Welcome, NESCOM graduates, family, and friends. Let us turn to the primary purpose of today's celebration, that of presenting our awards to our graduates. The first is the Alpha Beta Kappa National Honor Society. Students who have been selected for membership in Alpha Beta Kappa have demonstrated academic excellence, hard work, and integrity. Our inductees reflect these qualities of concern, humility, and a friendly spirit. Announcing our award recipients will be Mr. John Easton. John, will you please read the names of those who will become members of the Alpha Beta Kappa Honor Society? Dean Hansen, Director Gogan, honored guests, friends, family, and 2020 NESCOM graduates. I have the distinct privilege of announcing the recipients of the Alpha Beta Kappa Honor Society honors. They are Adam Bodwin, Amanda Marcus, Tyler Cameron, Christian Sarone, 
Tyler Huey, Ani Inman, Thomas Kugelman, Ryan Maines, Cynthia Miller, Kevin Prayek, Janelle Reese, Amber Schreier, and Kyle Tremblay. Ed, back to you. Thanks, John. The Public Relations Student Society of America, better known as PRSSA, was founded in 1967. It is the foremost organization for students interested in public relations and communications. Let us now join John Easton and Nancy Roberts over in room 102. Thank you, Director Gogan. Here we are in room 102 where you guys have spent a lot of time over the past four years uh, working on projects and things. Uh, and we are here with Nancy Roberts, who is the program director for the marketing department. Um, and Nancy's going to talk to us about PRSSA. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. Cool. Yeah, we um, love this organization. It's the Public Relations Student Society of America. It includes 10,000 students and advisors and chapters throughout the U.S., Peru, Colombia, and even Argentina. Wow. And each chapter gives students the opportunity for professional development, for networking opportunities, and to learn leadership skills. Nice, nice. So tell us a little bit more about some students that have earned some achievement in that area. The recipients of this year's PRSSA Honor Courts include Tess Lavoy, Amanda Marcus, Rachel Maxwell, Claire Mucha, and Allison Sennett. Congratulations, everybody, on a job well done, and we will toss it back to Director Gogan. The class of 2020 has not only distinguished itself in the classroom, but many have also proven themselves in their chosen fields through work product that demonstrates competency, creativity, and professional level attention to detail. Today, we would like to present samples of their work in two segments. Let's view the first.
There's no escape. Don't make me destroy you. something I ought to tell you. Tell me. I'm not left-handed either. Remember is the day that you... From the campus of Hudson University, this is your Nescom Connection. Maine could become the first state in New England to impose a statewide ban on single-use plastic bags. Teachers from Arizona are joining a walkout taking place across the country. They are hoping for higher wages and increased funding. CNN's Bill Weir updates us on that story. And the Celtics will lose 97-86 to set up Game 7. Jason Tatum had 22 points for the Celtics, while Giannis Antetokounmpo had 31 and 14 rebounds. While the borough police chief Bill Lombardi said it appears that the SUV jumped a guardrail before going into the river. The crash is still under investigation. The Shanghai Grand Prix, scheduled for mid-April, has been postponed due to coronavirus concerns. For more news and sports, check out our Nescom Journalism channel on YouTube. The next three award categories are under Individual Student Achievement. The Outstanding Achievement Award is given in each of our concentrations based on solid academic achievement combined with leadership skills and the ability and willingness to mentor others. Next, the Exemplary Work Product Award celebrates individual student achievement on a specific project demonstrating a high level of practical application of the skills they have mastered here at Nescom. And finally, the third category is the Professional Excellence Award. These students demonstrate a high level of experiential competence, a strong work ethic, and a professional commitment to their work. To present these awards, we will hand over the ceremony to our man on the scene who will be presenting each of the awards with the Nescom program directors. Thank you, Director Gogan. Through the miracle of Nescom, we are now in Studio A with Josh Small. Actually, John, it's Studio B. Just like I said, and we're in front of the Ampex board, which you've worked on for years. Wrong again, John. That's actually an API vision. Just like I said, Josh Small is the program director for the audio department and here to talk about the hard work some of you grads have done uh, and the award recipients for 2020. Thanks, John. It's my pleasure to announce winners in the audio program, which includes music production, post-production, and live sound production. So here it goes. The recipients of Outstanding Achievement Awards are... Drum roll, John. Janelle Reese for music production. Evan Brown for post-production. Receiving recognition for their exemplary work in products are Hannah Dowers for sound design, Derek Medeiros for live sound production, and finally, the winners of the Professional Excellent Awards are Thomas Kugelman, Michaela Golden, and Tanya Lopez. The entire audio faculty would like to take this moment to say we're very proud of our graduates and we wish them a fantastic career.
And as a matter of fact, through another miracle of Nescom, let's have a round of applause from a vast audience. Yeah. yeah. Ed, back to you. Our next program is entertainment production. John, are you over at the Gracie Theater? Thank you, Ed. We're down at the Gracie Theater with Mr. Ken Stack of Entertainment Productions. Uh, Ken, uh, you have some award winners for the class of 2020. And that I do. Winners. John, would you uh, hold, just hold that for a second? Uh, Ken, good, no, don't let go. Don't let go. Right there. Okay. You okay. good? Yeah. All right. Great. Yeah. Folks, it is my pleasure to announce the recipients of the Entertainment Production Awards in these three categories. For the Outstanding Achievement Award, the winner is in EP, Ani Inman. And the Exemplary Work Product Award goes to Kiet Ho as director of The Guys for Hassan University Theater and the Professional Excellence Award in Entertainment Production goes to Ani Inman. Guys, we are going to miss you. Wish you all the best. Congratulations. And I'm going to miss you more because apparently I've been drafted to do your work. Okay, I got it, John, from here. Sure. Good. Yeah, toss him back to Ed. Right. Okay, uh, line set, going out. Let us now go to our news desk, where John Easton will bring to us Mr. Jeff Hope, who will announce the award winners from the journalism and sports journalism concentrations. Thanks, Director Gogan. I am here with journalism director and sports journalism director, Jeff Hope, who uh, doesn't have his unicycle right what? now. So he's safe and I'm safe, and you'll never see me on a unicycle. You know that. That would be best not to do that. So I've got a few awards to talk about, John. And the first one is Outst uh, Outstanding Achievement Award. I want to say a little bit about this guy. A lot of um, a lot of you guys don't know what sports information is, so I got to jump off track and explain <laughs> that if you don't mind. Sports information is on all college and university campuses that have athletics. Uh, someone's got to work with the coaches, put together rosters, take in a ton of statistics, uh, work with the media, all those jobs. And we have got a guy that has just absolutely loved it, and he has been kicking butt since day one when he got on uh, campus. And that guy, I want to talk about him big time. Tyler Huey, congratulations. We are uh, very proud of you, and I hope you get a job in sports information because there's a lot of jobs in that direction. The next award I want to talk to mm -hmm. you about is exemplary work product. That means you did a great job on something. Yes. You have a lot of those in video production. We've had quite a few this year, and I know that you've <laughs> had a very successful class as well, 2020. We did. So uh, in this case, the student I want to talk about is currently working at WABI TV, and he's doing exactly what uh, he was trained to do. He's gathering news every day. But this is a two-parter. Mm -hmm. He's also in a class right now that we're teaching, which is uh, public affairs radio. So if you ever, ever listen to Maine Calling or Terry Gross with Fresh Air, the class is kind of like that. We teach you how to do these long-form um, radio interviews. And he is just doing a wonderful job uh, in that class as we speak. Um, I hope that he goes on to perhaps think about podcasting. That's how good it was. And his name is Ryan Maines. Good job, sir. Congratulations, Ryan. Thank you. All right, last one. Uh, this is for the uh, Professional Excellence Award. Uh, similarly, sports information comes into play. These are a couple of guys that have absolutely loved it. Um, Cole Herbert and Kevin Prake. Congratulations to you guys. I, I hope you all the best. It's super hard with you guys not being here on campus. Please keep in touch, keep in touch, keep in touch, because we miss you more than we can even say. So anyway, thank you so Congratulations, much. everybody. Yep. And uh, Ed, we'll go back to you now. Thanks, John. Now let us shift location again for the Marketing Communication Awards. We rejoin John and Nancy Roberts in room 102. Thank you, Director Gogan. Through the miracle of Nescom, we return to room 102 uh, with Nancy Roberts, our uh, Marketing Communications Director, um, for the awards for Marketing Communications, uh, seniors that have done some incredible things, and Nancy's going to tell us about that. Thank you so much, John. It's my great pleasure to announce the award for Outstanding Achievement in Marketing Communications, and the recipient is someone who's graduating in three years with a GPA of 3.93 wow. 
and has been very active as an officer in our Public Relations Student Society of America chapter, and that is Claire Mucha. And our exemplary work product student is someone who has seen her work in classes being used by clients, as well as someone who's volunteered throughout the campus, um, creating work for departments and programs throughout the circle, and that is Allison Sennett. And finally, our Professional Excellence Award is going to a student who has a 3.3 GPA, did two internships, and the second internship resulted in a job offer, which she accepted, and that is Rachel Maxwell. Congratulations for all your hard work. Um, you must be very proud of these guys. They, they definitely put in the effort, and uh, we want to wish them best of luck in the future. Ed, we're going to bring it on back to you through the miracle of Nescom. Through the magic of editing, let us join John as he tracks down Mark Nason, oddly enough, who's in the WHSN FM radio station. Thank you, Director Gogan. Through another Nescom miracle, we are now in the WHSN studio with Mr. Program Director Mark Nason. Hey, everybody. And Mark is now staring at me because I'm talking into the radio microphone as though I'm doing a real live radio show, which... Uh, if you grab ahead. if you grab the microphone in a real live radio show, I'd be so disappointed in you. Well, and plus the fact that we have we have labs, labs on, and you guys are in the business, so you knew it was a scam to begin with. Anyway, uh, program director Mark is here to tell us about an award for the radio program for somebody who's worked very hard in 2020 and years prior. I'd like to announce that uh, the recipient of the outstanding achievement in radio broadcasting award is Mr. Jordan Verge. And I'd like to take a minute to congratulate all of the graduating seniors for the hard work you've done and the great things you'll do. And our current temperature on the outside is 30... No. Back to you, Director Ed. Our last round of achievement awards comes from our video production program. Let us now join Mr. John Easton and Frank Welch in the EDC. Thank you, Director Gogan. We are here in the Equipment Distribution Center with Frank Welch, who has been uh, managing this uh, room for years and years and years, and which has been crucial to your lives here at uh, the New England School of Communications. So we have some awards for video production students, out outstanding achievement awards, and uh, we're gonna present those to you right now. Okay, well thank you, John. Okay, so uh, this year in the category of outstanding achievement, we have two winners, uh, and the awards are gonna go to, drum roll, Erica Larravee, and Nicholas Pelletier. Yay! Both very deserving. Guys yeah. deserve it. Absolutely. What else we have? Well, from there, we're going to go to Exemplary Work Product Award. So this year's winner of the Exemplary Work Product Award is Connor Petros. Yay! Congratulations, Connor. Good job, Connor, sitting home watching this. Uh, and then finally, we have two awards for professional excellence. So the recipients for professional excellence awards this year are Cynthia Miller, and Kyle Tremblay. Congratulations, you guys. And I just want to tell you that the class of 2020, uh, there are a lot of award winners. It was really hard to try to come up with a decision here. Um, and Frank and I were talking earlier about how much we're going to miss the class of 2020. You guys are really exceptional. Yeah, really. One of my absolute favorite classes ever. You guys have done hard work for four straight years. Uh, it's been a pleasure having you in classrooms and working with you out in the field and doing things. Wish you guys a lot, a lot going forward. Let us know if you need anything. And, and, and we will miss you. Well, Frank will miss you, I won't, because I don't have a heart, but right. seriously, if you do ever need anything, just get a hold of us and take good care. Thanks for being here. Let us take a break here and see some more examples of our students' work. Multiple sclerosis affects lives of so many in Maine, now more than ever, and we all have a connection to MS. WHSN invites you to join us as we broadcast live from Walk MS on Saturday, April 27th at the Brewer Auditorium. There's a million little things that take up each of our days, but if you can just find a little time in one day, it can help give a lifetime for someone in need. WHSN will host an American Red Cross blood drive on Tuesday, February 4th. Up, up, up into the air, heading straight towards the monster ship above me. 
Once again, we would like to interrupt tonight's show. But for some, dancing is taken far more seriously and even studied, like our guest Cassie Pillsbury. Cassie is the owner and director of Thomas School of Dance, a dance company with facilities in... After kicking it with the big LL Bean Boot in Freeport last summer, the brother trio AJR is coming back to Maine in May. And WHSN has your...
are ideally 620 away from doors opening. 620. Uh, Kenneth's such a grandpa. Perfect, thank you. So cute. I want to at 11. That's when I get out of work. Somebody just walked into the shot. Three, five, take. Academic honors are bestowed upon graduates by the university for those who have achieved a cumulative GPA of 3.4 or better. We will recognize these individuals with academic honors of graduating cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude. Each graduate will be entitled to wear a gold honor cord with their academic regalia. Mr. Easton, will you please present to us those students receiving these academic honors? Director Gogan, the recipients of the cum laude academic honors having achieved a grade point average of 3.4 to 3.6 are Tyler Cameron, Audio Engineering, Christian Cerrone, Audio Engineering, Kevin Coelho, Video Production, 
Nathan Dumas, video production. Tyler Huey, sports journalism with a certificate in marketing communications. Kiet Ho, entertainment production with certificates in audio engineering and theater performance. Ian Jackson, audio engineering. Ryan Maines, journalism with a certificate in marketing communications. Isaiah Marseille, marketing communications with certificates in business administration, digital and social media marketing, graphic design and web media. Alex Mitchell, video production. Kevin Prayek, sports journalism with a certificate in radio broadcasting. Allison Sennett, marketing communications with certificates in digital and social media marketing, graphic design, and web media. The recipients of the magna cum laude academic honors having achieved a grade point average of 3.6 to 3.8 are Evan Brown, audio engineering with a certificate in marketing communications. Nolan Whitaker, BS Communications Technology, Audio Engineering, Certificate, Advanced Live Sound Technology. Nicholas Langeel, Sports Journalism with a Certificate in Graphic Design. Kess Lavoie, Marketing Communications. Amanda Marcus, Marketing Communications with Certificates in Digital and Social Media Marketing, Web Design, and Web Media. Cynthia Miller, Video Production. Connor Petros, Video Production. Kyle Tremblay, Video Production. And the recipients of the Summa Cum Laude Academic Honors, having achieved a grade point average of 3.8 or better, are Adam Bodwin, Audio Engineering. Kevin Doyen, Sports Journalism with a Certificate in Marketing Communications. Ani Inman, Entertainment Production with a Certificate in Photography. Thomas Kugelman, Audio Engineering. Erica Larravi, Video Production. Rachel Maxwell, Marketing Communications. Claire Mucha, Marketing Communications with Certificates in Digital and Social Media Marketing graphic design, and web media. Lisa Palowski, marketing communications with certificates in digital and social media marketing, graphic design, photography, and web media. Nicholas Pelletier, video production. Janelle Reese, audio engineering. Amber Schreier, marketing communications with certificates in digital and social media marketing, graphic design, and web media. Mr. Gogan, these are the students who have achieved the highest levels of academic honors. Thank you, Mr. Easton. Our final award categories include the Husson Watch and Husson Plaque Awards. The Husson Watch Award is given to a graduating Bachelor of Science degree student with the most credits taken at Husson University and the highest grade point average in his or her respective school. This year's Husson Watch Award recipient goes to a student that has a GPA of 4.0. This year's award recipient also happens to be valedictorian at graduation. Her name is Janelle Reese. The Husson Plaque Award is given to a graduating student with outstanding academic achievement in his or her discipline, as well as outstanding service to the university and community. This year's recipient of the Husson Plaque Award is Erica Larravee. Our last two individual awards celebrate the history and traditions of the New England School of Communications. They are the Benjamin Haskell and the George Wiley Awards. The Benjamin Haskell Award is given in honor of our former Dean and colleague, Benjamin Haskell, as Dean, Ben had a strong interest in the academic success of our students, and through his work with the American Field Service, held an abiding belief that exposure to the world beyond our borders was an important component of higher education. This award is bestowed on a student who exhibits strong academic performance and who has demonstrated a commitment to global awareness. 
The recipient of this year's Benjamin Haskell Award is Patrick Caldwell. Congratulations, Patrick, and my best to everyone at NESCOM. The George Wiley Award is named after the founder and president of the New England School of Broadcasting, which became the New England School of Communications and is now part of the larger Huston University. This award goes to that one student who, in the opinion of our program leaders, exemplifies the traits of success that George possesses and then exemplify the essence of NESCOM with a positive, optimistic attitude and who regularly goes above and beyond that which is required. The recipient of the 2020 George Wiley Award is Cynthia Miller. Congratulations, Cynthia, and best wishes to the students and faculty and staff at NESCOM. Every year I make it a point to ensure that my charge to the graduates is different. Each class is unique and it deserves special consideration. Throughout the years though, one thing has never changed in my message. NESCOM is a family and we are proud of all of you. This year that message has even more significance and I think this class especially has so much more to be proud of. We all have responsibilities. Some of you spent the last eight weeks 100% dedicated to your schoolwork. Some of you. Some of you are essential employees and may have found yourselves working overtime. Some of you are taking care of family members, while others have younger siblings that need to do their homework while your parents are working. One thing is still true for all of you. You are now college graduates and no one can take that away from you. And you did it all despite everything I just mentioned. Take a moment to think about that. This is an exciting time in your lives and your friends and family are only too happy to show you how proud they are of you. But you deserve to be proud too. You may be a first time college grad. You may have taken the long road to get here today and spent more than four years at NESCOM or even from multiple schools. It doesn't matter. In a few short weeks, you will receive your diploma from Husson University. You all have now completed something that sets you apart. Take a second to smile and maybe even take a selfie with your new degree. Just make sure to post it with the hashtag, this is NESCOM. You have earned this moment. You are a college graduate. You may have already left campus, but you will always be a member. And now you are an alumni of the NESCOM family. Thank you, congratulations, and I hope you're safe and healthy. So, five, four, three. Congratulations, Congratulations. on this year's last 2020.